welcome to this morning's worship service. Uh, first things, I wanted to thank, first of all, the choir in particular last week and everybody for the absolutely stunning um, uh, presentation that they made. And for those of you who were unable to be here last Sunday, this is on disc, and, and you can you can see it. it uh, their, their, their presentation was really breathtaking, and uh, those who were blessed to, to be part of that uh, know exactly what I'm talking about. We also will be blessed today with uh, um, Ava and uh, Frederica are playing today, and so we're excited about that to have two world-class violinists. Um, those of you who knew, some of you did, who knew uh, David Little, uh, he passed away. David Little was uh, uh, a pillar in the First Presbyterian Church, and um, the only reason I mentioned him is I know some of you worked with him and knew him very well. Passed away uh, yesterday, I believe it was. And it just so happens that he was a friend of our family for 60 years. So uh, so I, I wanted you to, to note that when you go to the obituaries today in, in the paper. Uh, and I wanted to lift David up, fine man. Also want to lift up, if anybody wants it, Mr. Pease will get it to you. Rabbi Balaban sends his newsletter to the office um, once a week, and it's, it's quite good. And this week I just wanted to mention it, and it's... Quite, quite interesting. He talks about the royal wedding, and I'm sure everybody here uh, got up at 4 o'clock and watched the royal wedding. I, I couldn't do that. I was studying, I think, at the time. Yeah. It was devotion. <laughs> so I missed it. But he talked, it was really interesting what he said. I, I, that, that, I do want to tell you this because it's worth reading. He talks about how you, know, you have this fantasy, and, and, and they were beautiful people, and, and I'm, <coughs> that's fine. And, uh, but the fantasy is we have everybody wants to, you know, wish that this kind of make-believe would happen to them. And so they emulate this. And who's that rock star, what's her name, the real pretty girl um, that, you know, talked about, you know, about last year or two years ago about uh, her, you know, she meets her princess or prince and all this kind of stuff. Well, anyway, um, that, that kind of a, a fantasy. And, and how we try, you know, when we, when we get a little dog and we think that we're like Nicole, whatever her name was, who carries a little dog around. We always try and be like somebody else. And it's always phony. I, I mean, it's phony in the sense that you can't be like somebody else. And then what Rabbi did, and it was absolutely wonderful, he says, you know something, what you can do, though, you can imitate God. And that's what you can do. You can't imit you cannot imitate the royal couple. You don't you don't have billions that you didn't earn like they. They didn't earn a dime of that. You you have to work for your money, of course. They don't. And blah blah blah. You don't you know that's all make believe and fantasy. Um, so so that's phony when you try and act like that. But what you can do, Rabbi goes on and says, is you you can imitate God. And and you can imitate God by being forgiving. And you can imitate God um, by being just, and you can imitate God by being honorable. I really like that, and I thought you might want to know that. So, uh, no, I can't imitate uh, the royals, um, but I try my best to imitate God, as I hope we all do. That said, are there any other announcements that need to be made? Yes, Mr. Pease? Remind everybody about the lily. Yes. I'm going to remind everybody of the lilies. Take your lilies home with you today if you'd be so kind. Thank you very much. Also, you see Marianne's uh, um, piano and music recital, and that'll be coming up fairly soon, or very soon, I might add. It's good to have everybody back. I'm worn out just like everybody else is, but it's good to be alive, and uh, gee, I hope it rains soon. <laughs> With that said, let's begin our worship with silence.
come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a, no a joyful noise unto him with psalms. Please stand and join in our opening hymn, number 469, Morning Has Broken. <laughs> Do you like to walk? Yes. Oh, good. 
<laughs> well, we've got some kids that like to draw. What do you like to do best? Just sit at home and uh, do something creative like play with the, uh, um, what do they call those things? You like that? Electronics, and that makes you an important person, and it, and it builds your muscles up. Good. Oh, that's nice. Well, back when I was a kid, we didn't have that. We had, this is a true story. We had to make our own toys, and that's true. We had to make our toys and all that kind of stuff. And we used to go walk, and we used to go out in the woods, and we used to camp and by ourselves and have a lot of fun and things like that. And unfortunately, kids don't get to do that today, and I'm sorry about that. But, but everybody's smarter than we were back then, and so that's, I guess, it's all right. Um, yeah. All right, now, anyway, walking's really important because when you walk, you get exercise, of course, right? What else happens when you walk? And if you don't have anything in your ears? What else? Who, who am I? David. Video game clerk. And what am I doing? Climbing. I know, but what am I doing? Walking. And walking. I'm an IU student. I used to. That's what they do. Oh no, no, they have more important things to do than that. This is the or this. <laughs> when you walk, when you walk, things are supposed to happen. When you walk, you're supposed to see the birds and hear the birds and see all the beauty around you. When you go for a walk, you're supposed to be with your friends and talk to them. When you walk, you're supposed to be getting exercise. When I see people walk, this is what they're doing. Now, they do that because they're smarter than I am. And I have to admit, but what I hope you do is become stupid like I am and learn how to walk and not have all that jump put up your head. Now there's a reason for this. Now watch this. If you're talking out loud or listening to certain things, who can't you be listening to if they're trying to talk to you? If God is, and God and Jesus are trying to talk to you, but you're listening to important things like this, who can't you hear? can't. Because what you've done is you've said that your electronic stuff is more important than listening to God. You said that it's more important to be walking around like this than looking like this and taking in the wonder of creation. But if you do that, then I guess that means you're more important than God. Now listen to me. Next time you go for a walk, try not to take the junk with you. Next time you go for a walk, try and listen to the birds. Next time you go for a walk, as I did yesterday, it was just great, I found two, this is a wonderful story, two five-foot rat snakes. And they were enjoying each other's company, wink, wink. Mm -hmm. and, and they were great. And so I went down and I kind of patted them and things like this. Now, but you can't do that if you're inside playing games. <clears throat> You can only do that when you get outside and let God talk to you. So when we go for a walk, next time you go for a walk, I want you to go for a walk, Benjamin, and I, this is a true story because it'll happen. I want you to go for a walk and I want you to imagine Jesus walking with you, okay? And I want you to imagine having a conversation you and you with Jesus. Okay. Can you do that, Alexander? Yeah, you can. You're smart. Right? Yeah, you're smart. And that's what I'd like you to try and do, okay? And I like you. You're my new favorite friend today because you walk. All right? Now, I want you to see if you can listen to this song we're going to sing. And it is what, Maestro? Yes, it is. Well, what, yes, number? It is. what number is that? No, this is very romantic. This is one of my favorite ones. And we're going to play it through once. Let's see if I have my iPad to help me on this here. Oh, well, I'll tell you that. Play through one, please.
quiet to my surprise. I want you, you guys to come with me. Just this. Now, I want you to sit here. I want you to sit here. Come on, Logan. I don't want you to sit with Alex in. Come on. Okay. There we go. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to listen real quietly to some magic. Okay? said it before, but what do they have in the water over there? My gosh. Let's see. Beauty, brains, talent, spirituality. Ah, boy. What? Oh, sorry, Garrett. See, Vera, I'm talking about you. Garrett, be careful now. We're going to hear um, the young ladies play in just a moment as well. Uh, we're going to sing the Lord's Prayer too, and everybody learned last week, didn't you, how to sing it loud? Wasn't that something? Really something. Uh, are there any prayer concerns that we need to lift up specifically this morning? What it has? Yes. Uh, my wife has a patient by the name of Ryland. He's going to go to Cleveland Clinic next week for a major brain surgery. What's the person's name? Ryland. Ryland? Ryland. Okay. Yes? For our friend Herman. And Herman's still there, huh? Okay. Yes. Good for him. We'll keep praying for him. Yes? My uncle. And his name? Adolfo. Adolfo, okay. All right. Everything all right? You're no, you're home. 
So far, so good. Thank you. Good. Well, we'll pray for the good people in Syria and uh, Lebanon, and hopefully that will resolve itself in a healthy way. Let us turn our attention to prayer. Gracious and heavenly God, by your kindness you have brought us back here to fellowship today. By your thoughtfulness you have assembled us um, to be engaged in prayer and about the work of the church, which is altogether pleasing. Give thee thanks uh, for this good day, and give thee thanks that when you called we heard you and we weren't too busy and we weren't too preoccupied to take one hour out and listen and worship. And so we're thankful that you brought us here today. We lift up, of course, the choir of this church and all they have accomplished this year past, and particularly want to lift up um, June, of course, and Nino for, for the goodness that they shared with us and, and their dedication and commitment uh, to worship and thank you for them. Gracious and heavenly God, we come to you with our prayer list, and as always, um, it is long and um, it involves very serious concerns that we have. And, and so we would ask that that you would hold each of these people in the palm of your hand, and that you would call them by name, and that they would hear you today. And then in hearing your voice, they would be comforted. And we think of Herman in Germany and ask that you be with him as he battles um, cancer. And we would ask that he not be afraid, but rather that he rejoice, knowing that you were with him. We ask also that you be with Adolfo as he battles his cancer, and that he not be afraid, but rather take heart knowing that we are with him and praying for him. We ask that you be with Ryland as he um, has to go undergo very serious <coughs> surgery, and we lift him up and into your sacred care and your healing care. As always, we ask that you be with our friends in the Middle East and indeed throughout the globe, and that peace might reign supreme. Gracious and heavenly God, we also pray for all the good people in the southern climes and are mindful of the full force of nature and the devastations that come with tornadic activity. And more than just that, the devastations that come when families are torn apart to death. We would ask that these prayers, that they be lifted up unto you and received and be a pleasant offering. And that you would wrap your spirit around all the broken people and the frightened people um, in our good country. And that you would knit them back to good health. We pray specifically for the people, the good people in Tuscaloosa. And we give thee thanks for the statements of mercy and kindness that have been offered by so many people. Gracious and heavenly God, we thank you for again this good day. We thank you for the blessings that come with this day. And now, as with last week, we would ask that you would hear us as we stand and sing to you the Lord's Prayer.
we continue now with the sharing of our tithes and our offerings. to you a portion of what you have so generously provided for us. We ask your blessing upon this offering and we dedicate it for the work of your kingdom here in Bloomington, Indiana and throughout the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Vivace, second movement adagio, and the third movement allegro. <laughs> <laughs> 